In today's video, we're gonna highlight four neighborhoods and the most expensive listing in that neighborhood alongside the average price listing in that neighborhood and do a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison. I'll give you a little bit of my thoughts along the way. Come along for the ride with me. The most expensive property currently active in up and coming Hermosa is this single family home listed for 539,000. It's your standard uh, Chicago brick bungalow, which we love, built in 1927. It's got a $5,000 tax bill. Let's take a look inside. So again, this is in Hermosa, right on the corner of Armitage and Pulaski, where my dad actually had a hardware store growing up. It's a lot different than when I was, you know, growing up in that neighborhood. Uh, let's take a look at this. They feature the outside. It's got some nice greenery. As we move into the inside, you can kind of tell that they've done some serious work, painted the cabinets. Those are new appliances. Someone spent some time, you know, giving this place some love. You got some of those, you know, nice honestly 1940s 1950s details with the crown molding the wood crown molding they obviously renovated the basement uh, carpet downstairs uh, got a stop on the uh, open toilet seat and i think they did a fine job they featured this i-beam which uh, i appreciate someone spent some serious money making sure that the foundation was you know pretty sound so what do you think in up and coming hermosa you know i don't think they're used to having this type of property, 540,000. You think they're gonna fetch it? Single family home, let us know in the comments. So some of you asked us to highlight the median price instead of the most expensive price. So our, for our first one, we're gonna do the property almost at the exact median price of up and coming Hermosa. So that puts us at about 350,000. We found one for 334,000. It's this single family home, again, a brick bungalow that's been recently remodeled. Originally built in 1916, 3,000 square feet, $4,800 tax bill. Looks pretty nice, let's take a look inside. That's a classic Chicago brick bungalow. I like that little uh, peep of an attic up top. You move into it, I have nothing to write home about, but it's nice, it's clean, it's definitely got some space. I like the maple floors in, the, in some of the bedrooms. I like the oak hardwood floors. This is definitely a one of those uh, marriages of they did some work but not a ton but they're able to keep it at a you know reasonable price point i like it 334,000 up and coming hermosa you know we get a lot of people moving there now um, let us know what you think do you think this is worth 334,000? that's the median price let us know in the comments let's check out the most expensive listing currently on the market in streeterville this one is wild it is a condo six bedrooms six full baths two half baths Wait till you hear the price, 15.75 million. Comes with four garage spots, $7,000 monthly assessment, $166,000 tax bill. Basically get a uh, one bedroom condo in taxes every single year. Um, you might be asking, what do you get for those assessments? Well, you get the hotel amenities of the Hyatt. So you get a fitness center, indoor pool, spa, in-room dining. Let's take a look inside. So just by virtue of having a huge foyer like this means we're in for something special you're at the penthouse level so you get crazy views this is 9200 square feet so this is going to be a story of rooms scale and as much space as you could ever dream of typically in these 15 million dollar five million dollar plus condos the finishes don't actually make a huge difference because these types of people with this kind of money typically come in and put their stamp on a property I want to pay particular attention to the fact that this is a duplex property. So having a penthouse with two full floors, so I'll stop here at the staircase, is extremely, extremely unusual. So you get 4,500 square feet on the bottom level, you get an additional 4,500 square feet up above, so you have that separation of living space and bedroom level. And then on top of all of that, it's rare to have an outdoor space that's private like this in a huge high-rise building. So your views are going to be unmatched. And for once, I actually mean it when I say unmatched. What do you think? Worth over $15 million for this thing? Let us know in the comments. The average price, believe it or not, in Streeterville for any property is $350,000. So we're gonna highlight a property right around there. We found a property for $325,000. It's a one bed, one bath condo. Let's take a look inside. This one has a $821 monthly assessment. Um, $4,400 tax bill, $325, one bed, one bath, let's take a look. Definitely love the exterior. They're highlighting the lobby first. Kind of gets me going, oh, why are we highlighting the lobby? We're here for the property. So let's get in there. Um, I can kind of see why. You got blood red subway tile. You know, it's not gonna be for every buyer. I think it's cool looking. 
It's not gonna be for everyone. Bathroom looks nice enough, updated, nice foyer. This probably could use some staging, but some good space, definitely enough. You know, one bed, one bath, you get a little space for a desk as well, room for dining, bedroom is big enough, closet is big enough, uh, washer dryer in unit, which is nice. You get a fitness center and a pool, so there's your assessment. What do you think, is this property worth the average for uh, Streeterville? One bed, one bath, 325? Let us know in the comments. The most expensive property currently on the market in Lincoln Square is this single family home built in 1853 that was recently renovated in 2018. You know I love lot sizes, 50 by 177, one of the largest lots we've featured. Um, it's been on the market for coming up on a year, $2.54 million is its current listing price. Let's take a look inside. Probably worth a little bit of a comment, 1853, and it looks like they've kept the exterior probably close to what it looked like back then. I think that's pretty cool. Let's take a look inside. You're taking a look at some of these vintage old world details, that uh, oak crown molding and the decorative fireplace. They don't build them like that anymore, as cheesy as that sounds. You know me, if you watch these as frequently as I make them, I love ceiling details. These things aren't built anymore. I like how they did the kitchen and tried to marry it with you know, these old world details. I think they did a great job. I love this photo, so kudos to the photographer and the real estate agent. I love how they captured all of this ornate detail. Someone spent a ton of time building that staircase. Again, probably geeking out about things that you guys don't care about, but hey, that's real estate. That's showbiz, baby. And as we kind of click through, I can kind of understand the challenge in selling this. You have to have a very unique buyer for something this unique and special. But I think what everyone is always gonna look for in Chicago, especially if children are in the picture, is space outside, a yard. I'm probably projecting my own emotions onto everyone here, but this yard, you just cannot beat it. You have enough space to build a effing playground. So what do you think? $2.5 million, when do you think this thing is gonna sell? Lincoln Square, what do you think of the price? Let us know in the comments. The average price for a property in Lincoln Square is right around 330,000. So we thought let's highlight a property right at the average price in Lincoln Square. So we have this townhouse, obviously in Lincoln Square. It's two beds, one and a half baths, 330,000. Has a little bit of market time on it. There's no assessment, townhouse, which is nice. $3,700 tax bill. Let's take a look inside. Nice exterior. Uh, I don't know if you need to highlight that. The kitchen is nothing to write home about. Oh boy, uh, pictures are rough. Um, I think we could probably shine a better light on this property. It's probably better than the uh, pictures show. I think it's, you know, two bed, one and a half. It's pretty large for a two bed, one and a half bath. 330,000, Lincoln Square, what do you think? Worth it for the average price in Lincoln Square? The most expensive property currently on the market in Bronzeville is this single family home sitting on a 50 by 200 lot, gigantic. It's listed for $1.999 million and has a tax bill of about 30,000, 8,000 square feet. Um, again, 1893, let's take a look inside this thing. 1893 exterior, I don't think anything's probably changed. I think that's really cool. Let's take a look inside. It's obviously been gutted and you know, they, someone spent some serious money making this work for today's lifestyle. There's nothing particularly over the top that I can see so far. They did a great job on the windows. It's a nice basement, nice web bar. I think for this one, you're probably paying for that 1893 vintage feel, plus that gigantic lot, which gives you 8,000 square feet. This might be a price per square foot play. What do you think? Is it gonna fetch $2 million in Bronzeville? Let us know in the comments. The average price point in Bronzeville for any property is $350,000. So let's highlight a property right at the average price in Bronzeville. So that's going to be this condo, three beds, two baths, obviously in Bronzeville, 2,000 square feet, was listed for 350, is now at 330,000, comes with an exterior parking spot, $360 monthly assessment, $5,200 tax bill. Let's take a look inside. Nice exterior, but that's not what we're here for. The interior is nice, bright, open, definitely recently remodeled. I can tell those are painted cabinets, so those aren't stock white cabinets, but still nice enough. Black granite went out a long time ago, but for 330,000, I'm not sure what you want. They staged this property. I think they did, not, they did a nice job. I love this bay window and this nook. Beautiful light coming through. Bedrooms are a nice size and bathrooms are okay. You get a little bit of outdoor space. This is the average in Bronzeville, $330,000. What do you think? Is it gonna get it? 
let us know in the comments. It was pretty interesting for me to see the most expensive listings in the neighborhood alongside the average price listings in the neighborhood. Maybe I'm a nerd, I'm a real estate guy, but what did you think? Most expensive or average? Which one would you buy and why? Let us know which neighborhoods you want us to highlight in the future. And don't forget to like, subscribe, do that whole thing.